Hey guys, this is Destroy Topham. This is part 22 of my Dark Souls playthrough. In this video, I'm going to be heading towards the Bed of Chaos. So I just leveled up Dex there. I'd just beaten the Centipede Demon and headed through, the, uh, through where the Fog Gate was. And now I am heading to the Bonfire. Um, that's in the second bonfire in this area that's in the tower. Finally in Lost Isolith. Now there's a few things here I want to get. Um, the pretty standard things that I'm probably be picking up anyway. Screw it, I don't even know where I'm heading. Ah, uh, there we go. Ah. So we've got an item up here, Twin Humanities. Ah, screw it. Get me through here and rest at this bonfire. Right, I need... 3,000 souls. Let's level up again. I'll just try and take out some of these wandering demons. Let's see if fire does damage to them. Uh, it does, but it's not much. Uh, I'm probably gonna get killed. Uh, yeah, there we go. Okay, I'll probably get the souls I need in a different way. Better check if I've got any items really. That could be a much simpler way to do this. And that is a soul right there. Well, that's a big soul, I'd rather not spend that here. I think that should give me the amount I want. Ah, just no. As you know, I'm still about 1,100 off. This should be about 1,000. Yep. There we go. Right, you can level up once more. <laughs> Like I said in the previous part, I just like using the souls that I've got. There's no point wasting them. Uh, especially in this area, so I'm probably going to die quite a bunch. So I tend not to concern myself with any of these any of these enemies. Um, can usually run through here without having any real problems. 
You just gotta move in the right way. You gotta be careful of these things. Keep going, hope these guys stop following me. They do. Now we have a pyromancer to face. And that wasn't very difficult. It's interesting that she drops a catalyst. Um it's rather strange, in fact. Hmm. Chaos Firework. Okay, I'm just checking I've got things. So I'm prepared for this fight. Um, let's have a look. Alright, I'm re ready to give it a go. No, that's the wrong weapon. So this is when this boss fight starts getting a bit problematic. The floor starts, the floor starts falling apart. I'm now trapped. And I'm dead. That's not too bad. I'm not going to recover those souls. I have no intention to. Um, because they're on the side I don't need to go to anymore. And so now it's just... Head back, charge straight in. And uh, head to the other side. Um, I know that the side I went to is the side that you can, um, you can get to easily. Whereas the other side is one that's possible to use the bow to destroy um, the branches and, and the root itself. So you don't actually need to get close to it. Uh, however, running to the centre can be a bit of a problem. Again, just going to avoid all of these guys. There's no point in me wasting time gathering souls that I'm not. I'm not going to be able to use, and I'm going to lose. I understand why this boss fight's uh, a major drainer for most people that play this game. Uh, it can be frustrating. Okay, that didn't kill it. No. They have 650 health, that's just mighty inconvenient. So, let's make another attempt. Try and... Um, take out the other side. 
it becomes much more difficult once you once you've awakened one half of it. Run! Okay, should be safe here. Oh, just missed. As far as I'm aware, I've done this before. Might have to run in there. I don't really want to. Although now would be a great time. And there's no way across. Oh, okay, yeah, you can shoot from here. You have somewhere you can shoot from. No? There we go. So this part's difficult because you can get pushed around. There's pillars of flame coming from the floor. I've got no idea what move they're going to be doing. Okay. Pillars of flame. They heal up and make a run for it. Vicious here. Okay, so roll, and roll, yeah, okay, I've got the timing down. Okay, and I've made it through. Oh, this is, this is great. Okay, this can be problematic. And victory. Wasn't expecting that to be so easy. Ah, right, for the final Lord Cell. I'm going to head to Firelink Shrine in a second. I'm going to level up. Put two more points into decks. And yeah, warp to Firelink Shrine. So I actually want to speak to Frant, so I'm just going to wake him up. Wide awake. Do not treat me like an old withering snake. I am. Is it? Very well. Then stay still for a moment. So, time to offer souls. Um,
So I've uh, unlocked the Kiln of the First Flame, which takes us to Lord Gwyn. Um, that's going to wrap it up for this part, guys. Thanks for watching. This is Destroy Topham. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow me on Twitter at Destroy Topham. Again, thanks for watching. Peace.